These hay bales are fast, easy and cheap to make, but most of all they look absolutely amazing when it comes to adding detail to a farm or field scene. So let's get started and make some hay. The hay itself is made using twine. Any brown or buff colour should do, just make sure it's the finest grade of twine. The main structure of the hay bale will be sticky tape. When it comes to selecting a tape, I found the best type is tape that has a matte finish and approximately 12 to 15 millimetres wide. To glue the bale together, CA glue works well, but any fast drying glue should work. You'll also want to grab a pair of tweezers as this will help get the hay bale started. You'll see what I mean shortly. Now for the tedious part, dicing up the twine. This is one way to do it using a hobby knife, or you can also use scissors. But my preferred method, which is also the fastest, is to use a chopper. In order to dice up multiple strands of twine in one go, I use this big ice cream stick and glue a piece of straw onto it, ensuring the straw is flush with the chopping blade. You only need a short piece of straw to help direct and contain the twine strands as they are cut. If the straw is too long, the twine can become quite difficult to push through. It will depend somewhat on the diameter of the straw you use. For me, I found about 10 strands of twine bunched together fit well through the straw. If you're having trouble getting the strands through, just remove one or two until it fits. It's a little like pushing the thread through a needle. You might need to wet the end and twist it a little prior to pushing it through the straw. I make the first cut to remove the uneven end and then discard that piece. Then I start chopping. After each chop I push the twine through about one millimetre at a time. It takes a while but after doing this for about 30 minutes I find I usually have enough twine for about 10 or 15 bales. Next is the more interesting part which is making the bale itself. I pull out a length of tape that's just over 22 inches long. Flip it upside down so the sticky side is facing up and fix each end down with more tape like this. Next simply grab a bunch of the diced up twine and start pressing it into the tape. Make sure to get a good coating over the entire tape and press it in firmly to ensure it sticks well. I do this by applying a nice thick coat. Then I use a spray can or a rolling pin if you have one to press the fibres down onto the tape. Once that's done I cut the tape free at each end and shake away the excess. I shake the tape quite vigorously and quite a lot of it will fall away. Just be sure to collect the excess and use that for the next bale. Before I start rolling the bale, I get the glue ready. Once the bale has been rolled up, it has a tendency to unravel itself very easily, so I like to have everything ready to go. This is where the tweezers come in very handy. You can do it without tweezers, but the tweezers make starting the bale much easier. So now it's a matter of rolling the bale up, making it nice and tight, or trying not to let it spring away from you. Now just glue the end with CA glue, let it dry and you can let it go. I sometimes find odd bits on the bale but they are easily removed. Making these bales is certainly very easy and anyone can make these with great results. They look fantastic in a big bunch stacked up as well. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you're interested in helping support me or the next project be sure to check out my Patreon page. Cheers and thanks for watching.